Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fellas for TV. We're back in the building. Make sure you check out our sponsor, the Health Blaze. At thehelpblaze.com, use my promo code goodfellow one box and get 18% off immediately. That website link and promo code is in the description. They got natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, really good cheap prices. Go holla at the help blaze at thehelpblaze.com. All right, and don't forget to check out my Patreon as well, too. Just started up for my boxing fans that want unsexual and raw t- uh, content two dollars, two dollars a month. So, I was gonna cost you for my boxing tier. So go check it out. I made it very affordable for my other tier as well, too. Just read the description to tell you what they're about. But um, yeah, apparently that uh Alexander Usyk team is out here lying. K2, Matchroom USA, however you want to say it. Um, Joseph Parker team said they heard nothing from uh Alexander Usyk team about fighting. And uh Cali Enigma reached out to Luis Ortiz team and they have heard nothing about Alexander Usyk, okay? Alexander Usyk team, uh, the K2 part came out and said that Joseph Parker turned down a fight with them. They said Miller turned down the fight with them, Jarrell B. Baby Miller. It sounds like Miller, but it sounds like they lying. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like they're uh, they lying for clout, and they really want to fight Alexander Povetkin. So it's a lot of perpetrating and um, a lying here, okay? They saying that they, they want to fight Ortiz. They were trying to fight Parker. They was trying to fight uh, Miller. They lying. What they really want to fight is Alexander Povetkin. Okay, Povetkin is the perfect move about for Usyk. Okay, I say that because he just got beat up by Joshua. They're gonna be doing doping, probably doping tests. And you know, Rubisky put up a nice amount amount of money to have Usyk come back to Russia and fight uh and fight Povetkin. It's a perfect fight. You know, at the end of the day, Russia is close to the Ukraine. You know, obviously, ain't no money in the Ukraine. For uh, nobody to go fight Usyk over there, so he got to be a role a role warrior, and it's just a shame how how these dudes be lying, man. And, and everything associated with Eddie Hearn is just a big ass lie. And people, no matter how many times Eddie Hearn get caught up in a lie, you know the Pilgrim. These dudes continue to come out here and support him and try to rationalize his lies. Frank Warren came out here debunked it when he out here said that they were uh, Al Heyman, you know, and Shelly Finkel was asking you know Frank Warren for some of the money for the fifty million for. Uh, Deontay Wilder to get a Joshua. That was a lie. Okay. He said he called him to see how much BTS Sports will, will pay for the fight, you know, compared to what Sky would. You know, came out here and said the $50 million contract wasn't real. Obviously, Barry Hearn confirmed that multiple times, and in all them, Eddie confirmed it, it was real. Okay. No matter how many times this dude lied, now he's lying about Alexander Usyk. Like some of these heavyweights are scared to fight Alexander Usyk. Using Luis Ortiz's name again, like he did with Dillian White and with Dan Rayfield. Remember, he told Dan Rayfield that Dillian White was fighting Luis Ortiz and the fight will be announced tomorrow. And then it was Joseph Parker that was the fight announced tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Just some of this little, this little low down, dirty, grimy shit that Eddie Hearn be doing or he is associated with in this one, man. We all know Usyk ain't ain't going for no killers his first time out. If Usyk was going for Ortiz, why not just go for Anthony Joshua? You feel what I'm saying? Well, why would Usyk go up to heavyweight and go for for dudes that can beat him like Miller because of the size differential and, and a dangerous opponent like Joseph Parker who ain't got nothing to lose, who just came off of like two straight L's and just got a win? And why would he go for Luis Ortiz? You know, Luis Ortiz, it, you might as well fight AJ. You know, that's a, that's both of them, you know, that's a more dangerous fight than fighting AJ. You know, so you, you look at it, man. These dudes, you know, continue out here lying, trying to build Boogie, man. Same thing they did with Golovkin. You know, he tried to tell you guys that Golovkin dudes was ducking Golovkin, but Golovkin was shortchanging dudes. And Peter Quillen on Colossal Sports TV, go subscribe to Colossal Sports TV, you know, did an interview a long time ago, said they were shortchanging dudes, man. They offered me 500000 to fight Peter Quillen. I mean, for Peter Quillen to fight Triple G, when Peter Quillen turned around and got a million dollars to fight Winky Wright. Which one are you going to take? A million versus Triple G, a, mil- a million versus Winky Wright, or 500000 versus Triple G? You know, now they, again, they're trying to build a great white ho- hype again, Great right hope again in Usyk and trying to tell us how he's this is big feared boogie man. Look here, in any of these situations, this dude is the B side, bro. He don't bring no fan base. He don't bring nothing to the heavyweight division. You can't bring undisputed cruiserweight titles with you. The only thing he can bring with him 
It's his Super WBO Championship exemption that gives him a direct shot versus Anthony Joshua when they deem worthy to order that fight through the WBO mandatory. That's it. That's the only thing he could bring. So you think he going to fight some people in his first fight that that are killers, that had close fights with AJ like Joseph Parker, that AJ afraid of and, and Luis Ortiz and, you know, Big Baby Miller, you know, who outweighs him by 100 pounds, bro. You think he about to go up to heavyweight? and get beat up by them dudes, man. It would be more believable if they said uh, Usyk versus Dillian White, because Dillian White been talking that shit. But you already know, when it's a whole bunch of names, not like names, like if Dillian White was in there, then I'd believe, like, okay, he going to fight Dillian White. But it's easy, it's plain and easy to see that this dude is trying to fight Alexander Povetkin. Povetkin, it's only, the Povetkin team, the only team that's quiet. Ortiz team that came out and spoke to the Cali Enigma. Go check out the Cali Enigma Sports and Entertainment. Uh, subscribe to his channel. He came out here and spoke to, you know, to text him back and said, we ain't heard nothing from them. Okay? Then you go to Joseph Parker, his team, Dave Higgins, came out and said, oh, no, we ain't duck him. We never offered that fight. Only guys that's being quiet is Miller, and that's because he's probably trying to chop up a deal with AJ and Pavek him. You know, and he ain't trying to fight Dillian White. Dillian White called him out, chump. He ain't got nothing for me. You know, he don't get killed at heavyweight. Why he ain't fighting Dillian White if he want to come make a statement at the heavyweight division? Okay, unless Dillian White is in negotiation secretly with AJ. Okay, because Dillian White, if AJ fight Miller, Dillian White ain't got nobody to fight. Unless he fight Fury. You know, and Usyk is going to fight Pavekin probably on the AJ undercard, bro. Because he can't headline shit. Or he's going to fight AJ. Or he's going to fight Pavekin over there in Russia. Okay? That's the perfect tune-up about for him. An old age and Russian who can punch, you know, get the feel for heavyweight. But, you know, he should be able to be Pavekin. It's a shame that, you know, they got to be out here lying and ain't nobody going to even call them on their sucker shit for the most part. None of the Usyk fans, none of the Eddie Jern fans, the Pilgrim, none of them dudes going to come over here and, and call them on this shit. He's been lying all 2018. He's going to lie 2019. And people know it. They just going to follow the Pilgrim because of his complexion for a selection. He got the complexion for the selection. That's it. This man out here lying on other people's names to make it seem like Usyk is some boogeyman. All them dudes would probably take the Usyk fight, bro, because they feel like they probably can beat him because he got that amateur style. You know, he got to earn that respect, okay? He got to earn that respect, bro. You know, and don't nobody respect him because he got an amateur type style. You know, and I was like, oh, you going to fight Ortiz? You know, and I was like, man, I wonder, you know, Kelly popped up. And I'm like, I wonder Kelly asked him. But Kelly popped up with a video said he ain't heard nothing from Clout Chasing. Trying to make this dude seem like the boogeyman. Didn't even talk to these people teams and saying, though, oh yeah, we reached out to them and they ducking or whatever. Man, nobody ducking no Usyk, bro, heavyweight man. You know what I'm saying? You know if he gonna go for the killers, you know like Ortiz, or you know or Fat Baby Miller, I won't quite consider him a killer. But if he gonna go to them, why not fight AJ then? That just don't make no sense. Why not fight AJ? You know what I'm saying? If you gonna go fight Ortiz, shit, you might as well fight AJ. You got a better chance of beating AJ. Just as you got a good chance to beat Ortiz. Same chances, pretty much. I think it's a little bit harder to beat Ortiz. You know, but, hey, it is what it is, man. These dudes going to continue to cloud chase through the media. You know, people going to continue to bleed this. People going to come years later or months later. They going to come down and say, uh, well, he ducked, you know, uh, Parker and Ortiz. Ducked or uh, Miller ducked Usyk. And then that shit is just a t completely fabricated. Well, shit, it's a complete lie. It's a complete lie. You know, and it's sad, it's, a sad, it's sad out here that they got to lie to prop this dude up and still don't nobody care about Usyk, you know, in 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 in, in the in uh, boxing world in America. Might care about him, man. You know, but, hey, it is what it is, man. Good fella Sports TV. Let me know what y'all feel about this, man. Uh, hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget you can make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, that's the only thing we on right now. We tweet out every video. You can DM me on social media, at me at Twitter, DM me on Twitter, or you can reach out to me in my email. My email is in the description. Uh, video requests, questions, business inquiries, sponsorships. Definitely appreciate it. Make sure you check out our sponsors, The Help Blaze, TheHelpBlaze.com. Uh, promo code GoodFellow1Boxing. Get you 18% off, and that's in addition to any other discounts, promos they're running. Uh, for soaps, lotion, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Especially for my health nuts, my fitness nuts, go over to the Health Blaze. They got something for you. Website link is in the description with promo code. And don't forget to check out my brand new Patreon. All right. You can check it out. 
two dollars for the boxing tier. Two dollars. That's it, man. For uncensored, raw, hardcore boxing talk, and five dollars for my uh, hood series and class and uh, food for thought and other political and current event raw talk and uncensored talk. Go over to the Patreon. The links in the description should be popping up on the screen very, very soon. Real, real cheap. Good fellow sports TV. Happy New Year. Hopefully, everybody bringing in with positive vibes. We gone.